Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and we've already got back to school shopping season well underway, and a ton of Ultrabooks are around to buy. One of the most stylish ones of last year was the Samsung Series 9, and this year, the new Samsung Series 9 has debuted just in time for midsummer with a new Intel Core i series processor that's third gen, Core i5, and Core i7. The Samsung Series 9 13-inch that you see here is $1299. Now, this is at the top end of luxury Ultrabooks. You can certainly get ones for $799. Why would you want to pay up for this? Well, it's only $100 more than the MacBook Air. It's kind of funny how many times have you ever said only XXX more than a MacBook Air. And you get pretty similar specs, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabyte SSD. What you do get here is a smaller, thinner, lighter, product, believe it or not. Thinner at its thickest point and 2.6 pounds compared to a hair under 3 pounds for the 13-inch MacBook Air. Also a smaller footprint here. That's pretty impressive and it amounts to a razor thin feel, very light, very portable, really nicely designed. Also has a backlit keyboard, zippy performance, and a fantastic screen. Really bright and viewable from all angles. Really, really sharp screen. And uh, if you're looking for that, and you're looking for the smallest, most portable type of Ultrabook that money can buy, you really might want to look into this. One drawback, the touchpad, while it's big, is a little bit finicky. Although that's true in a lot of Windows touchpads. They just haven't gotten it right. And this one I found myself prone to highlighting text accidentally, and it was pretty frustrating. Not a deal breaker. And for all the other construction quality that's put into this, really nice feel, solid aluminum, very sturdy and less flexy than the last Series 9 and significantly lighter and smaller. You get a package that's really hard to beat. And they didn't really do anything crazy with weird motorized port doors or strange elements. Although you're not going to find a lot of ports on this. You don't find a lot on the MacBook Air either. There are two full USB ports, one USB 3, one USB 2, and then everything else is relegated to micro jacks and little dongles, which is frustrating if you want to plug in an Ethernet cable, for instance. But there is an Ethernet dongle that's included that plugs into its own little port. That's nice. And there is an SD card slot, although you may not be able to see it here. Now, as far as HDMI or VGA, those require extra connectors or adapters. And again, those have their own dedicated little micro slots. Overall, it is a very nice luxury Ultrabook and surprisingly small, even for those who are used to looking at a lot of these like myself. The new Samsung Series 9 is about as sleek and small as it gets. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the new Samsung Series 9 13-inch 